Hello, welcome to my video to show you how to create perfect designs using chrome powder without getting any of the chrome all over the nail. So we're going to first of all start by painting our base coat. And my base coat I've chosen today is called Baby Blossom by Magpie Beauty. So I'm going to paint on one coat of Baby Blossom and then I'm going to cure it in the Magpie lamp for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to go in with a second coat of Baby Blossom and I'm also going to cure that in the lamp for another 60 seconds. The next product I'm going to paint on is a layer of Give Me Strength, which is also by Magpie Beauty. This is a strengthening gel and this will ensure that we don't get any of that chrome powder over the rest of the nail. So we're going to paint a layer of Give Me Strength on the nail and then we're going to also cure that into the lamp for 60 seconds. The next step is really important. So we're going to use Magpie's Prep and Dehydrate Solution and we're going to scrub that over the entire nail, making sure we get off all of that tacky surface. If there's any tacky surface remaining on the nail, that's when you have the chrome sticking to it. So we need a really nice dry surface to work on. Then I'm going to use the Magpie Beauty Gel Paints today. So you can either use the Gel Paint Plus or the Gel Paints. They're both the same, just the Gel Paint Plus is a little bit thicker and I've used it in shade black for today. And I'm going to use the Premium Detailer in um, length 11. Um, so this is more like a striper brush. And I'm going to brush through the gel paint, making sure I get a nice thin surface over my entire brush. So you can see I'm pulling it away from the bulk of the product and making sure I get a nice thin surface. And then onto my nail, I'm going to start painting a design on here. So we're going to do some snowflakes today, but you can do any design you fancy. So I'm going to paint through a line through the middle first, and we're going to create a star out of this design. So we're going to create a star first, and then we're going to turn it into a snowflake. So do a line through the middle, a nice thin line, and then we're going to do a diagonal line across it to create the shape of an X. And then the third line is going to go right through the middle of them to create a star shape. And then after that, we're going to start painting our little lines on there to create our snowflakes. So our third line right through the middle of them two to create our star shape, like you can see there. And then we're going to do a second one. So I'm going to speed this up for you now. So I'm doing a second star as well on the bottom. You can just choose to do one. It's up to you. But I'm going to do a second one at the bottom to show you what I've done. I've now switched to my dotting tool. So my dotting tool is going to create some dots on this snowflake. So down each line I've created, so there's six lines there, I'm going to paint three dots down the line. So as you can see, there are three dots. And then I'm going to paint it across the second one, another three dots, spacing them out evenly across that second line. And then I'm going to finish it off on the rest of the four on this snowflake. So I'm going to finish it off on the four lines of the rest of this snowflake. And then after that, what we're going to do next is we're going to put little dots in between each one of those lines. So just one little dot in between each of the lines. And then I'm going to do that to the rest of the snowflake. And I'm also going to complete the bottom snowflake by doing exactly the same steps that we just did on that first one at the top. So I'm going to complete it now and speed up the video so you can watch the rest of the snowflake on the bottom being done in exactly the same way. And then I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. I've then personally chosen to use the Chrome Elizabeth, which is a beautiful gold chrome. And I'm going to use my silicone tool today, but you can also use a chrome tool as well. So you can choose whichever one you fancy, a chrome tool or a silicone tool. And all I'm doing is collecting a little bit of that chrome powder from the neck of the bottle. So that's all you need is a little bit of the chrome powder from the neck of the bottle. And I'm going to start by rubbing that into the nail with a little bit of pressure over top of our gel paint. So we've cured that for 30 seconds already. So we're going to rub it over the top of the gel paint and make sure it's sticking um, to that gel paint area. And then I'm going to do the top star first and then I'm going to do the second one afterwards. And once all that chrome powder has gone into the um, gel paint and completely stuck to it, pop it back into the lamp for another 30 seconds just to make sure that that gel paint is cured the whole way through. And then once we've cured that for the final 30 seconds, we can then grab a dusting brush or whatever you fancy using to dust off um, the rest of the chrome. And as you can see there, it was completely free of all the chrome powder around the design. So there's no chrome powder left. And then I'm going to use the Give Me Strength again, which is Magpie Beauty's strengthening gel. And I'm going to paint a coat over the entire nail and cure that for 60 seconds just to kind of encapsulate in our design that we've done. I'm then going to paint a layer of Magpie Beauty's No Wipe Top Coat, which is called Top It Off. So I'm going to paint that over the entire nail and make sure to cap in all the edges. And then I'm going to cure that also for 60 seconds. 
So this is our finished design. So as you can see, the chrome powder only stuck to the areas where the gel paint was. So you can do any design you fancy with this. Thank you for watching.